yo what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel and in this one we are going to take a look at two of the most important machines in hbm smart the automatic mining drill and the mining laser using this you can get all the resources you are ever gonna need to craft advanced item in this mod we are also gonna take a look on all the upgrades that these machines take so yeah without any further ado let's get straight into it So the very first machine that we are going to take a look at is the automatic mining drill and in order to craft this you are going to need 6 pieces of steel scaffold, 4 steel ingots, 4 red copper wire, 1 enhanced circuit, 1 titanium drill, 2 high speed steel bolts, 2 high speed steel ingots and 1 motor and that will give you 1 piece of automatic mining drill. So let me place this drill down and once you do that this is how the design of the drill is going to look like. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. And this is the front part of the drill with the orange arrow. From here, you can output all the items you want to. Now let's take a look at the GUI of the automatic mining drill. So as you can see, it has a 100 kilo HG internal energy buffer and it also has 9 stacks of internal storage buffer. Also, these 3 slots that you see here, they are for the upgrades which are the red, blue and green upgrades. But we are gonna take a look, a detailed look at these upgrades uh, in a little bit. First, let's see how to operate the base version of this drill. So in order to operate this drill, the very first thing that you are gonna need is to supply it with power. Which you can do using an energy storage block and a cable. Or you can directly use cable, it doesn't matter. But I would recommend using a storage block as you are gonna need a way to stop giving it with power. Cause what will happen is, if you continuously supply this drill with power, it will never stop. It will just keep on sucking power and that is not desirable. So I would recommend that make a lever setup like this. So whenever you want, you can stop supplying it with power and whenever you want, you can start supplying it with power. So now that we have the energy setup going on, our drill has already mined eight or nine blocks of dirt and you can take these blocks out by placing a chest or a crate in front of the output like this so if i place a crate here as you can see this crate will now accept whatever the drill is gonna mine now if we take a closer look at the surface there is no apparent damage right so how does this drill work how does it mine well to take a closer look at that we are gonna have to break some of the surface so let's do that so that we can understand how this drill works, how it mines. So now that we have broken down some of the surface, this drill basically works like this. It extends a drill pipe into the ground and wherever that pipe reaches, it breaks down the block around it. And as currently the drill is basically designed on a base level to operate at a 3x3 three three level, this drill pipe is gonna break three by three blocks around it so a total of nine blocks but we can increase this using the upgrades that i was talking about earlier so yeah let's take a look at the upgrades that this drill can take as currently it is working pretty slow so there are three kinds of upgrade the speed upgrade the effectiveness upgrade and the power saving upgrade and there are three levels for each of these the mk1 the mk2 and finally the mk3 the MK3 being the best and the MK1 being the base version of the upgrade. So, yeah. Now, let's start with the speed upgrades, right? As using the speed upgrades, it will reduce the delay but increase the power consumption. So, we are gonna go with the, firstly, with the MK1 upgrade. And we are gonna place 3 of it as the maximum level of upgrades that you can place is 3. Now, if you take a closer look here, the speed of breaking blocks has gone up significantly. So this is what the speed upgrade is gonna do. But what I'm gonna do is take out the MK1 upgrades and instead I'm just gonna place a single MK3 upgrade. And that should be equivalent to placing 3 MK1 upgrades. Or rather 3 level 1 upgrades. And as you can see, the speed of breaking the blocks is nearly identical. So that is why the three level or basically the mk3 upgrades are the best upgrades so always try to craft them if you can now let's go for the power saving upgrades and the radius upgrades so if i place the power saving upgrade as you can see the power consumption went down significantly 
and if we place the radius of grid which is the effectiveness of grid it is gonna increase the 3 by 3 radius that we talked about earlier so now that i have placed this upgrade it is gonna take some time for the drill to figure out the new radius but once it does it will start mining in this new radius so let's wait for that a little bit and there it has started so now that this drill has been running for quite some time i'm gonna increase its speed and basically have one effectiveness upgrade on and now we are gonna see what is the new area that this drill is mining in now this is the setup that i recommend if you are producing enough energy as using this setup you will have a good balance between the area you are mining and the speed at which the blocks are being mined so you are gonna save a lot of time and also you are gonna save no you are not gonna save energy per se but yeah if you are producing enough energy this should not be an issue for you so now we are gonna talk about the mining laser which is the advanced version of the advanced or the automatic mining drill and in order to craft the mining laser it is pretty expensive you are gonna need three steel tanks 16 steel plates three redstone crystals three diamonds four polymer bar three motor three high-speed steel ingots six high-speed steel bolts and finally three energy storage blocks and that is gonna give you one mining laser now the recipe is pretty expensive but what is even more expensive is running this mining laser now you can only place this laser on a ceiling block like this you cannot place it on the side and once you do place it break the block as there is only one slot where you can provide power which is like this so now that you have connected your battery let's take a look at the gui so there is a 100 million he internal buffer for energy it is currently gonna mine in a 3x3 radius it also has 64 buckets of crude oil so it can mine oil and it has a 21 stacks internal buffer for placing items now these are the upgrades that this drill can take and there are a lot of them as you can see these are much more than what the automatic mining drill used to have so let's take a closer look at the upgrades pause this video if you want to but yeah the speed effectiveness upgrade are the same overdrive is a speed upgrade fortune nullifier smelter shredder centrifuge and finally the crystallizer upgrade now i am gonna go in detail what each and every one of these new upgrades are gonna do and just for showing that i have made a 3 by 3 area using uranium ore as uranium is a pretty good example of showing what these upgrades can really do so first and foremost what we are gonna do is we are gonna start producing or rather start supplying this machine with power so that it can operate and once i place the battery in we should see that the machine has power now so we are gonna on or we are gonna press the on button and this machine has now started running and it is now mining uranium ore for us and as you can see it is storing this uranium ore in its internal buffer now one very cool thing is for example let's say that you have water surrounding the area where you are mining right so let me place down some water in this area now when the laser mines that block see what happens boom it actually replaced the water blocks with sandbags so that the water doesn't flood our mining area right here that is such a cool feature it is gonna save you a ton of hassle of basically removing any source of water or lava when you are mining so now let's take a look at all the different upgrades that we talked about right the speed and the effectiveness upgrades are the same as they were in the automatic mining grid but we are more interested in these new upgrades that we have right now one change is that the speed upgrades in this machine can be stacked up to level 12 so we can basically place four mk3 upgrades and this drill is gonna go at an insane speed which i'll just show you in a second so what we are gonna do is place down four speed upgrades so that we reach level 12 and look at this can you see the speed of this mining right here it is gonna consume insane amounts of power but yeah it is also gonna go at insane speeds so it's an even trade-off if you ask me now the effectiveness upgrade will increase the radius by a lot but yeah i am gonna show that to you at the end of the video what happens when you basically operate the mining laser at its maximum radius but for now as you can see just by placing one effectiveness upgrade we have increased our radius from 3 to 15 
So now let's basically not look at these upgrades and come to the interesting stuff which is the new upgrades that are added. So first of all there is the smelter upgrade, the shredder upgrade, the crystallizer upgrade, the centrifuge upgrade and finally the nullifier upgrade. Now the overdrive upgrade, upgrade is the better version of speed upgrade basically as you can see it increases the speed of mining so yeah now let's take a look at what these new upgrades do right so first of all we are gonna go with the smelter upgrade and as soon as we place the smelter upgrade whatever block can be smelted will be smelted in the mining laser and as you can see uranium ore is being smelted into uranium ingots we are directly getting uranium ingots pretty helpful right now the second upgrade is the shredder upgrade and as we shred uranium what we are gonna get is uranium powder so we can directly shred any block too now the third upgrade that we are gonna take a look at is the crystallizer upgrade and whatever can be crystallized will be crystallized and by crystallizing uranium we are gonna get uranium crystals so this is also pretty helpful and finally, let's come at the most useful upgrade, which is the centrifuge upgrade. So by centrifuging uranium directly, we are going to get polonium ingots, uranium dust, gravel, and basically all the items that you would have gotten by centrifuge. So now we are going to take a quick look at what happens when you try to run the mining laser on steroids. So what I have done here is placed four effectiveness upgrades, which has increased the radius to 51 blocks. So this laser is now going to mine an area of 51 by 51 blocks. That is the maximum area that the laser miner can mine. And let that sink in. 51 by 51. That is a massive area right there. And it is going to mine everything in that area. So this is what this mining laser can do. It can mine really large areas. And yeah, it is going to deliver all the items wherever you would like it to. Now one really interesting thing about the laser which I forgot to mention was that this laser will damage mobs inside the mining area. So in case any mobs decide to spawn where the mining is happening, this laser is gonna damage them, it is gonna kill them and whatever drop they are gonna drop basically, this laser is gonna pick all those drops up. So yeah, pretty cool right? You can even use this mining laser as a mob farm. So that was all I had for this video guys, hope you guys liked it, if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out my guys, stay safe.